Last week, Commissioner Roger Goodell came up empty once again in a high-profile case of player discipline. One NFL team owner told Outside the Lines Goodell's four-game suspension of Tom Brady was an attempted makeup call for the way the commissioner handled the Patriots' last cheating scandal. That story unfolded eight years ago on the first Sunday of the 2007 regular season. During this game against the Jets, Bill Belichick's Patriots were caught videotaping the hand signals of New York's coaches in what eventually became known as Spygate. Just four days later, Goodell handed out punishments that stood without appeal, fining both Belichick and the Patriots and stripping the team of a first round draft pick. Nine days after the Jets game, league officials traveled to Foxborough to meet with the Patriots about Spygate. Patriot sources say that day, inside a conference room at Gillette Stadium, Goodell ordered league officials to destroy eight videotapes by stomping on them and then to shred a folder of handwritten notes. Sources also say Goodell never attempted to quantify the total number of games the Patriots videotaped of opposing coaches' signals. The following February, Goodell insisted that the taping was limited to a handful of games in late 2006 and the beginning of 2007. Belichick has acknowledged taping a substantial number of games, but only he knows precisely how many. Sources tell Outside the Lines the Patriots videotaped the signals of opposing coaches during at least 40 games over a period of several seasons from 2000 through 2007. The Patriots also used handwritten diagrams of stolen signals during games. Some executives, coaches, and former players still wonder whether the taping ever impacted the results of a game, including playoff games, and each of the Patriots' three Super Bowl wins during the Spygate era. Goodell's decision to destroy the taped evidence and notes angered some owners and others around the league and raised questions about the commissioner's actions all the way up to Capitol Hill. Why destroy the notes? And why destroy the tapes? And the sequence is just uh, uh, incomprehensible. In early 2008, Senator Arlen Specter said the commissioner's investigation has been fatally flawed. In a Senate floor statement, Specter said the NFL's inquiry was not objective, transparent, or adequate. He called for a congressional investigation that would have put witnesses under oath, but that inquiry never happened. Former Rams coach Mike Martz, who lost to the Patriots in Super Bowl 36, put out a statement in May 2008 saying he was satisfied with the NFL's investigation of Spygate. But Martz told Outside the Lines that a panicked Goodell asked him to put out that statement because the commissioner feared a congressional investigation would be bad for the league. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. At the NFL owners meeting that spring of 2008, behind closed doors, Goodell pledged to owners angered by Spygate that if any team was caught cheating again, the league would deal with it forcefully. And this year, some owners were outspoken in their support of Goodell's hard line on Deflategate. If, as one owner had said, Goodell's attempted suspension of Brady was indeed a makeup call, it never came to fruition. The federal judge's decision leaves Goodell on the losing end of another major appeal.